All right, today we're gonna check out how to put the wheels in motion and spin them with blur effects here in Photoshop. Uh, by the way, my voice is still gone because I'm sick. Before applying the blur, I'm gonna make this hood disappear because it looks really weird. So I'm gonna select the lasso tool, select the hood, and we're gonna go to generate fill, click on it and click on generate. After that, let's merge the layer, press Control Shift plus E, right click on the layer, convert the smart object, press Control J to duplicate, uncheck the first layer, click on the second layer. And from here, let's go to the filter, blur gallery, and let's select the spin blur. Now you can see we can drag this blur effect right here. I'm gonna pull it from these dots, expand it all the way around the wheels. You also can rotate it. You can increase or decrease the blurriness. I'm gonna go with 20. And as you can see, if I zoom in, this area of the wheel is still sharp. So from here, we're gonna need to go to the pad blur, check it and go here to the settings, zoom out. And you can see this arrow here. So I'm gonna pull it and I'm gonna position it where the rubber is from the wheel. And I also gonna go to this dot here and bend it just like that. Now you also can increase or decrease the speed by this handle. Now it made it even more faster and click OK. Now we're gonna need to remove the rest of the blur. So only the car wheel is gonna be blurry. So let's go to the smart filter here, click on it. And let's select the brush, make sure that you're on the black and just paint over here. So this way is going to delete the blurry effect. Just go round and round around the wheels and check this out. But if you zoom in, it looks like the wheel is spinning in one place and the car is stationary. So I'm gonna need to add some motion blur on the ground also. And that's why we had this new layer here, which is unchecked. Let's check it. And let's go to the filter, blur gallery and select path blur again. And I'm gonna pull this arrow down here at the floor and I'm gonna increase the speed a little bit more. Click OK. And now we're gonna need to delete the rest of the unnecessary blur. But in this situation, we won't go to this smart filter here because it is going to delete only the pad blur. So it's going to remain with the original layer, but it won't show what's under the layer, which is basically the spinning blur effect. So what we need to do is select the layer and click on the mask. So basically we mask the layer and we're gonna delete the unnecessary parts from the layer actually. So check this out, if I delete it, it still is going to show me the spinning wheel and the rest of the car, which is sharp. So the overall composition looks something like this. Thanks for watching.